Welcome to another edition of the Brian Turner Basketball Podcast. Before we get going, can you please like and subscribe to the channel? My goal is to grow this channel within the next year as much as possible, full of basketball content, full of health content, full of life content. So do yourself a favor and make sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell for all notifications. Also, this video is being brought to you by and powered by SeatGeek. Com. SeatGeek.com is an online ticketing app. So any music concert, any comedy concert, any sporting event, baseball, football, basketball, go over to the app, use promo code Coach Turner to get $20 off your first purchase at checkout. Appreciate your time. I'm glad you was able to find this channel. I hope you like this video. Here we have dribble drive transition finish, uh, one on zero. Uh, in previous, uh, the previous uh, rotation to this uh, drill, we had the guys just strictly staying in half court out of a half court offense. We add, we had the guys back up to half court. We're still establishing the two cones at the top of the key, which will uh, on either side of the elbow we call slots. And we're having the guys just attack those areas to be able to get back to the middle, slice off one defender, and then being able to finish on the other side. You will see this movement a lot when the ball is kicked up into transition. And if we're going into some something like our early offense, we want the guys to be able to uh, have a live dribble, catch it in transition, and just be able to just attack right off of uh, the offense. So as you can see, a lot of the guys are keeping their live dribble um, right before we get to half court. The ball is kicked up to them, and we're asking them to make some type of action move, whether if it's a hesitation to the middle, finishing with the opposite hand, a through the legs, finishing, a crossover finish, uh, anything that you would do to uh, emphasize an attack uh, and a one versus O uh, transition. It may get to the point where you have to kind of dig in your bag a little bit and just attack that guy's shoulder. Once you get that shoulder past that other defender, being able to come to some type of jump stop, slicing through, and then finishing. Um, so as you see, the guys are kind of pushed back to half court, and then they're going to start their attack um, with a live dribble. Um, we start off again with hesitations. We usually go through a... Uh, a circuit of hesitation move, action moves, crossover action moves, through the leg action moves, uh, behind the back action moves, and then we also incorporate uh, some type of a, of a reverse pivot. We like to emphasize for the guys that can play above the rim, to play above the rim and make attempts at trying to duck the basketball because uh, once you get that, that full burst of speed right at half court, it just takes one or two dribbles for you to get your feet together, and then you're going to kind of take off and try to make sure that you finish strong at the basket. 